a lot of Japanese were coming back through that ship from Japan. However, when they, this ship was collided and then sank in the bottom of the ocean, and there were 82 people in that boat at the time and all died. So in one song club, he brought his pleasure squad girls and made them to have sex and serve the Soviet soldiers who was helping to retrieve the ship. And instead of giving them gold, he used these women to serve this man instead. Welcome to my channel. I am always grateful that you chose to see me and come here to hear about what is happening inside North Korea. So I have talked about many times in the past how the regime mandatory for women to join the pleasure squad groups and serve the men and also kings. This has been the longest in North Korean tradition and every now if you have followed me for the last year you know what really pleasure squad is. And the new thing that I just found out and I really want to share with you guys is about how Kim Jong-un used them and using them to really earn foreign currency and not only that, to improve foreign relations with the countries like the Soviet Union and China. So in 1984, when Kim Jong-un was in reign, uh, there was an incident, this ship called the Mangyong uh, ship, the, this boat, big ship was used to bring the people from Japan. So there was a lot of Korean Japanese living in Japan and then they wanted to come back to Korea because they missed their motherland. And not only that, the regime spread the propaganda to them saying, you know, don't get discriminated in Japan and come back to motherland. This is a socialist system. You're gonna provide everything for free and you're gonna be warmly embraced by the mother nation. So a lot of Japanese were coming back through that ship from Japan. However, one day this ship was collided and then sank in the bottom of the ocean. And there were 82 people in that boat at the time and all died. So Kim Jong-il was like, how do I retrieve this ship? And they didn't really have the technology. So he called the Soviet Union at the time and said, can you help us to retrieve this salvage the ship? And then the Soviet crew team came and they were helping the North Korea to get salvaged this boat. However, this is what happened. So after this process ended, the Soviet Union team was demanding payment and they asked four tons of gold from Kim Jong-il for their labor. And there was a promise if you help keep pay us, we are going down to save all those 82 men who died but retrieved their body. And Kim Jong-il was like, I don't have the money and what can I do? So here he thought, okay, then why don't I invite them to Wonsan nightclub. So North Korea has a few cities that was designated to host foreigners and Wonsan is one of them. I think a lot of tourists go to North Korea, they go to Wonsan, Hamong, Pyongyang, DMZ and few certain designated spots. So Wonsan is one of them. And this is also, Wonsan is known to be Kim Jong-un's favorite town because there's like a beautiful beach resort and he loves the Wonsan weather and the beach the most. So in Wonsan club, he brought his pleasure squad girls and made them to have sex and serve the Soviet soldiers who was helping to retrieve the ship. And instead of giving them gold, he used these women to serve this man instead. So this is how these payments were interchanged. But not only this, as recent as recently, that in 2013, when Dennis Rodman, the American basketball player, I'm not a big sport fan, but that's how I know. When he visited North Korea, it is also known to that Kim Jong-un used pleasure squad to serve him and the friends that he brought with him. And even in a lot of Dennis Rodman's interviews, he talked about how, you know, he went to this one son private resort with uh, like many, many, many girls. And he was talking about how, what a paradise it was for him and for men. You know, the North Korean regime treats their people like an object. People in North Korea don't even know what human rights is. So when they, of course, go through this abuse and oppression, 
we all know it's something is wrong, but we don't know how wrong it is. I remember being in North Korea, seeing my father get tortured, my mother get beaten, and people, women daily get assaulted and get beaten. We did not know the concept of dignity and the concept of human rights. But people know in North Korea, they are, they, what are they are going through is unjust. Even when you don't have the word unjust, they still get that sense. If the people really know how absurd, how unusual, how unspeakable this thing is for the rest of the world, I'm sure North Koreans cannot demand and ask the regime to change. But however, because North Korean people don't, they don't know what they deserve because the regime obsessively controlling this information from the people. They are hiding North Koreans' eyes and minds and ears with every possible way they can to let them not knowing what's happening in the big world. So people have no clue. And the other news that I just got is about actually Kim Yo Jung's secret hub, guys. And this hobby is so, you can see how corrupt North Korean regime is. Why they are they using innocent people and these girls as, as their tools, as a leverage to make benefits for the regime survivor. Kim Jong, Kim Jong Il actually demands when he was in reign, he demanded the old top officials take the white powder called like I think ice in North Korea is a drug to take them so they wouldn't fall asleep. And Kim Yo Jong was known to very occasionally enjoy taking drugs and enjoying herself. And while people, I mean, suffering and going through starvation. And one of the executions that I talked about, right, he was a one type of official while he was a, in the meeting with Kim Jong Un, he was supposedly falling asleep. And that after what happened, he got executed. And now we understand why he got executed and why also he was falling asleep, it's not because he was not loyal to Kim Jong Un or he was arrogant. He actually took too much of that white powder. He was overdosed himself, that's why he was falling asleep during the meeting. And even though the fact that he was taking drugs was initiated by the Kim Jong Il, who demanded that soldiers take all these drugs, and sometimes in cocaine to make sure they don't sleep for these generals so they can work hard and giving this drug to the soldiers when they go to combat and a lot of North Korean soldiers they went to Africa many years ago and there was a lot of civil wars and then North Korean regime would sell their soldiers to African dictators then give them drugs and become the you know the machine lord like they become the kind of machine robots and what fighting in the war i i mean there's endless corruption endless unspeakable things that kim jong-un does and this regime does to 25 millions of people thank you for always choosing to know what is happening in the darkness and coming to see me and caring about nursing people i'm so grateful for you keep watching this channel and supporting me please hit that like button so more people can hear about what's really happening to north korean people and i look forward to seeing you guys all in the next videos love you mm -hmm.